Hey, hi, and howdy, friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I am Courtney. I do grocery hauls and cooking videos, things like that. If you love it, stick around, check out my playlist, subscribe to my channel, and like this video. Oh, yeah, and drop a comment down below so we can say hi to each other. All right, y'all, it is Tuesday, so it is grocery day here on my channel. Um, my groceries were, like, way off this week just because people were going out of town, and my grocery day was off because we were busy, so... Anyway, I was all over the place, but I did meal plan for three meals. We're going to have Mediterranean one-pot pasta, tuna noodle casserole, and chicken paprikash. Two out of those three are things I've never made before, so I'm excited to give them a shot and to share them with y'all and tuna noodle, noodle casserole I've done before. Um, I did like a grown-up version of it. It was fantastic, so we're going to do something similar. So make sure you're here on Saturday for my What's for Dinner, where I cook all those videos. All right, y'all, you don't want to hear me chat. You're here to check out what I bought at the store, so let's jump right on in to the grocery haul. All right, friends, welcome back to my channel for a grocery haul. Today is actually just Tuesday, so I'm kind of way off on my schedule, and that's just how this week's going to be. Um, I've got people going out of town, and we've got all kinds of dental and orthodontics appointments and all kinds of stuff going on, so I'm just kind of like fitting in some stops where I can when I can, and today was a good time to run by HEB. Uh, it was the last day of their sales and there were a couple of things that I decided I needed. So I popped in there and this is what all I got. This is obviously the bulk of my groceries. Um, a lot of stuff that was on sale. So let's dive right in. Uh, down here I got these beef sirloin tri-tip steaks. These are to make some fajitas. I'm doing chicken and beef fajitas over the weekend. Um, these are on sale this week. They are mm, $6.99 a pound, which is a great sale price, but... It's not terrible. Uh, $5.82 and $6.96 for those two packs right there. I got these cheese squared crackers. They are Jensen's favorite. So I got those for $2.48. We are completely out of corn dogs, which is just a crime in my house. So I got another box. These are $7.98. Jensen asked for some carrots. So I went ahead and grabbed those for $1.24. The Isidore beans, that's our favorite brand of refried beans. These are on sale by two. Get one free. They are $1.36 each. So I bought two of them and I got one for free. The Me Tanda uh, ready to cook flour tortillas. We love those. Um, I buy these pretty often. They are fantastic. You, they're just dough and you cook them yourself. They're so, so good. $4.18 for the 36 count pack. Um, I did pick up some Velveeta. Typically I actually get the HEB brand and I get the Queso Blanco, Queso Blanco which is our preferred um, like if I'm going to use it to make queso or something, but there was absolutely no HEB brand and a bunch of stickers that said, sorry, it'll be back in stock soon. And there was no queso blanco in the Velveeta brand. So I just got plain Velveeta. Actually, I think I got the, what is it? The Mexican style. Uh, yeah, Mexican style. I haven't tried that one before. Uh, we'll see how it is, but this was $5 and 48 cents. It's not that big of a block. So I was kind of not happy with the price, but that's all there was. Uh, these Lone Star crackers, they're like goldfish, but they're Lone Stars because it's HEB and we're in Texas. Those are $1.98. Chicken products, the frozen chicken products by Hill Country Fair, which is another store brand by HEB, are on sale for a $2 off coupon. So I got the breaded chicken patties. Those were uh, $4.19 after my coupon. And then I got just regular chicken nuggets for the kids. Also $4.19 after the coupon. And it is... 30 ounces so one pound and 15 or 14 ounces so pretty good size bag of chicken the other one I think is the same size 32 ounces two pounds so pretty decent amount of chicken for the price and we know it's good because I bought it plenty of times before um I did pick up these take a breather so I've used these in the past and I really like them I am a very anxious person like my anxiety can get through the roof for absolutely no random or no real reason like it's just random but I do know, like, sometimes these just kind of help me keep it in check a little better. So I picked up some more because I'm out. Those are $9.98. I did grab this coconut ginger rice to go with our dinner tonight. We're having um, air fryer tandoori chicken, and it just sounded really, really good. So I picked that up. That was $2.18. I've never tried it, so hopefully it's good. It just sounded like it would be a really, um, a really good mix. Let's see. Oh, I got some coconut milk. That was on clearance for 89 cents. I wish I would have known that I would have grabbed more. I couldn't find a price and it was in a weird spot. So I may swing back by there tomorrow just to grab a couple more of those because that is my favorite and I guess they're not going to be making it anymore, which is sad. Um, I got some little mini bell peppers. I like these because they're great for salads and snacking. I will also use them for the fajitas this weekend. 
I got these protein shakes. These are for Cam. He is having dental work done tomorrow. He's got, he's had like a metal spacer in between his teeth. They put it in when he was still in diapers and, um, he's finally getting it taken out tomorrow, but they have to gas him and stuff to do it because it's, um, kind of like grown into the gums cause it's been in there for so long. I think he's had it for seven years. Um, anyway, to finish with his orthodontia and stuff, we have to get that out. So the dentist is taking that out tomorrow and then we will head next door to the orthodontist and they will, um, do more stuff to his mouth. Obviously it's not going to be a good day for chewing. So I picked these up cause he really likes these and they'll just kind of help fill him up a little bit. $4 and 95 cents. I also got these cause he loves these and they're super soft. So hopefully tomorrow he'll be able to eat them after we get home, like in the evening and stuff. These are two eighty eight, but I had a 50 cents off coupon. So they were $2 and 38 cents. I picked up some cilantro for 48 cents. That's so I can make some salsa. I picked up these potato puffs, which are just tater tots for $3 and 68 cents. I got these Idahoan little potato, instant potato cups. These are for Jensen because he had dental work done today and he has to eat soft food. So I got these cause he wanted mashed potatoes. They are $1.38 each. I got some um, pickled jalapenos. These are really good. They taste fantastic. We are, I think out. So I went ahead and grabbed some more because I was thinking about it. These are $2.72. Some white American cheese just for sandwiches and stuff. $3.98. And then I got some hummus. I love this one. This is my favorite. And I had a 75 cent off coupon. So they were $3.24 or $3 each. So I just went ahead and grabbed two. And then I got this stuff for clearance or on clearance in the cheese section. This one was the last one they had. It's the marinated cheese balls. I've never tried this before, but I've always wanted to. It's like $8.00. So I got it for four. So I'm gonna give that a shot. And then this one really piqued my interest. Uh, I actually make cacio e pepe pretty often for my family. Um, my husband and I especially love it. It's real simple to throw together. It um, doesn't take a lot of ingredients. It's stuff I normally have on hand, but this simplifies the process. There's no caking agent or anything in here. It's just the cheese and the pepper and some hot Calabrian uh, chilies. And it just sounds like it would be super simplified. So um, I bought three of these because they were 50 cents or 50 percent off, so they were a dollar each. And then I just I think I've shown my cacio e pepe pepe on my channel before. It's really simple. I just like boil the noodles and then I put some of the pasta water in a skillet next to them, and I put in my um, cheese and my pepper and stuff like that. And then I toss them in that. The the hot pasta water melts the cheese and forms a creamy sauce because it's got starch in it. It's beautiful, delicious, and simple but this just simplifies the process. So in total, oh, I also got a bag of dog food that we already put away and it was $13.95. Um, it was the last bag of small bite dog food. And if you don't know, my Husky is super duper picky and only wants small bite dog food. So I got the last bag I could find, $13.95. My total was $112. Um, I'm hoping to run by Sam's Club tomorrow because I need a handful of things from Sam's Club sp specifically. And I'm hoping to do it after um, the orthodontist visit tomorrow. I also would like to pop into Market Street for like four things. Really, it's just four things. <laughs> but like we love their bread and stuff, their bakery bread. So hopefully I have time to pop in there. I also did pop into Hobby Lobby today. I just buy yarn. I've got some projects going on, making some blushies and then doing some pattern testing. Got a bunch of yarn. Anyway, that's what I got today. And I will see you guys back tomorrow or the next day whenever I get back to the store. All right, friends, Walmart just delivered this grocery or this grocery order to me. Uh, this is the last of my groceries for this week. Yay. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Down here, I got some Roma tomatoes and these look really good. Look how bright red those are. It is tomato season, so they look like they're really, really good. I always have trouble with produce from Walmart, but I, I think these are gonna be great. That's $1.98 for the two pound bag. I got a couple of bananas for 62 cents. I got these cheese sandwich crackers to snack on. Those are $3.52. Some face scrub. This is what I use like most of the time. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I really like it. I've used it for, oh my gosh, years and years and years. Um, I use the name brand sometimes, but typically I use the Walmart store brand or the HEB store brand and they work great. This is $2.08. I got some coffee creamer back here, $2.68. I got two cans of Pringles for my kids to snack on. Those are $2 each. We do start our homeschool co-op next week. It's two days a week. So we do need to kind of take some lunches with us or something so that we're not stopping to buy lunches during the middle of the day. So those will be great. We'll do some sandwiches or something as well. I've got some green onions. Those are 48 cents. 
I also have some kids toothpaste right there for $1.98. Let's see, back here I've got a loaf of bread. It's a Texas toast, that's $1.98. We'll do sandwiches and I may do some cinnamon toast this weekend, I don't know. Um, my husband and my oldest are out of town. It's just myself and my youngest two. And I'm thinking some cinnamon toast would be a great breakfast. I got a can of this tomato salsa so I can make some salsa over the weekend. We are doing fajitas. That'll be in my meal prep video that comes out on Thursday. So if you're interested, make sure you are subscribed so you can watch that. And that is a $1.18 for that. I did get some Oreo cookie and some brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. Look, they're just easy breakfast on the go. I know they're a ton of sugar, but I'm not sure how this co-op's gonna work for us because we still have to do our regular homeschool as well. So I kind of need it just convenience items just so we can kind of get the hang of it. So I got these. These are $1.92 a box. Down here I got a bag of frozen peas. That is for one of the meals next week. I also got a gallon of milk for $2.79. Oh, the peas, the peas are 98 cents. Back here I got two gallons of uh, the silk chocolate non-dairy milk. These are $2.98 each. I got a can of artichoke hearts for $1.97. I got some heavy whipping cream for $4.98. I got this big four pound box of spaghetti for $3.48. I got some creamy mushroom soup for a casserole, that's 68 cents. I think I have some, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I just went ahead and got some more because it's something I do use a lot of. And then I got this. This is supposed to have like less sugar and stuff in it than regular, uh, what is it, a oh, Nutella. We'll give this a shot, this is $4.12. And then finally I got some egg noodles for a casserole, $1.43. That does it for this week's grocery haul. Like I said, make sure you subscribe because I have my meal prep coming out on Thursday and my what's for dinner that comes out on Saturday. So any of the meals that I put in my meal plan or the recipes that I talked about over the weekend and stuff, they'll be in those two videos. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you know when new content comes out. Thank you so much for watching me and a big shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. There's been a lot of y'all and I am just so appreciative. Thank you guys for choosing to subscribe and be here and watch my videos. It does mean a lot to me. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye.